There might be some cutting involved very shortly here. We are going to be putting this big block board into the S550 Mustang. I am so excited for today because after six months of doubt, regret, and uncertainty, we are going to be pulling the five liter Coyote out of the S550 Mustang and on today's Netflix's original series of how to make a murderer. So I'm so excited to see this behemoth of a big blower sticking out the hood of the Mustang. We got a lot of work ahead of us though, so let's start pulling out the engine. Bye bye hood. Come here boys. Coyote in the wild. And no, I don't know if we're gonna put this in the Bronco. I haven't decided. I don't know yet if I'm gonna sell the Bronco or if we're gonna put this inside of the Bronco. Just think $50,000, could make money. I could make money. Take the money, you should give that to me. I cannot donate a coyote for you to put it inside of your Chevy truck. Why that's like, not? There's so many things wrong with that. No, there's not. I see no problem. Do you see that? That's to make intake noise inside the car. So when you step on it, it goes vroom vroom. Okay, it's free now. I got it, I got okay. it, don't worry. Okay, I'm ready now. Oh, this is so much heavier than I thought. Yep. <laughs> All right, trans is out, liberated. Oh, oh, so much room for activities. That's a lot of room. The motor is ready to come out. So we got a cherry picker. We're gonna hoist her out and then we'll see about putting big old nasty in there. But before we do that, in this box right here is a bolt-in six second capable tick performance H pattern transmission that is going inside of Trader. So we're gonna unbox this once we get this engine out of here. All right. There it goes. Oh yeah. All right, out with the coyote. We didn't need that anyways. Now you guys, time to swap an eco boost into this. <laughs> this is a really big hole. This is a huge hole. Oh, this is man. like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. There's so much room for activities. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next let's start unboxing transmission. We'll get that mounted up. Fortunately, it's a bolt-on, and then we have a truck-style oil pan coming in because we think clearing this electric steering rack might be an issue, but <laughs> where there's a will, there's a way. I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Upstart. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. If you're carrying a credit balance month after month or feel like you'll never break free from your debt, Upstart can help you on your path to financial freedom. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses like cars, Upstart finds smarter rates with trusted partners based on more than just your credit score to get you back on track. They consider your income and current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loan. With just a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000 and receive the funds as fast as one business day. Upstart makes it easy to get your finances back on track. So find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com forward slash Amelia. Don't forget to use my URL and let them know that we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Thank you again, Upstart, for sponsoring this video. Link is in the description below. Now, let's get back to the episode. Those who watch the channel know that I've been sitting on this transmission for so long. Back when I was convinced I was gonna do a coyote in the Mustang, but we're going big block. But I do wanna show you guys what is in this box. Basically, the ultimate drag racing transmission. It is also the exact same transmission that is in Joe Steele's world's fastest H pattern stick shift car going sixes. Basically, this is a bad motherfucker. <laughs> now that's how you ship a transmission. What's in this box right here? 
is a Tick Performance T56 Magnum XL. And I would take it out, but I don't wanna break my back, so I'm gonna ask for help, but I'm going to admire it. But fun fact, they actually save 10 pounds by removing fifth and sixth gear, and there's a lockout, so it is almost virtually impossible to money shift. This is almost something that you would hang on a wall. This is beautiful, this is incredible. This has a billet faceplate. It's got PPG dog ring gears, billet forks. This thing is a four speed, it is absolutely amazing and sexy and bolts in directly to a Coyote in a Mustang. If you guys are looking for power with an h pattern transmission, Tick Performance is the only company you can go with. Tick Performance, they're the homies. Show them some love. I'm gonna throw their Instagram handle right here. Let them know that you came from watching this episode because they've been super cool and very understanding that I've had this transmission kind of sitting while I figured out the edge and stuff for a little too long now. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. So it's almost impossible to money ship this. <laughs> yes. So you could technically let Choi drive this. Choi would never drive this car. <laughs> he drove the Prius. He did drive the Prius. He didn't want to ship the Prius. This would technically probably be quicker than his other cars. This is definitely quicker than his other cars. So, you know, yeah. we could we could get him some real horsepower. Just, you know, raw. <laughs> Big block. Grab the shaft. Yeah, you want to grab my shaft? Your shaft? The shaft. You have a shaft? It's right there. Oh, well, okay. Let's go. <laughs> So that bell housing is for the Coyote. Uh, we got a new bell housing because originally we weren't planning on running the big block forward, but now we are. Mark my words, this is gonna be the most badass S550 out there. Also, Tick Performance does make more than just the bad strands that you guys can get. Hard plug because I'm very thankful to be working with them. Sincerely, I didn't think that they would be as interested as I was in forming a partnership together. They make some cool shit, guys. Check out their website. They make a bunch of badass stuff. Crossmember installed. Shout out to Holly Performance for supplying the SFI certified bell housing to meet the Tick Performance T36 to the big block Ford. So now let's go ahead and get this baby installed. <clears throat> right there. We'll get you into a real car now with a big block. <laughs> this might be the easiest problem we've ever done. Yo, hi key. Hi key. That was pretty easy putting that trans in. Tick transmission is in. What we gotta do next is we gotta put the engine in the hole and kind of see how everything clears. We're not 100% sure yet. We have the engine on the stand right now. We took off the supercharger. All we have to do is swap the pan to the new pan we have, and then we're gonna see how this fits and how it clears, and hopefully it, it kind of lines up to the motor mounts. So we ended up buying Granitelli mounts. So we have half of the motor mount. We're gonna have to fab the second half, assuming it lines up. There might be some cutting involved very shortly here. Huge shout out to Harbor Freight for supplying us with a plasma cutter. This is gonna come in clutch today, assuming we have to do a lot of cutting. <laughs> New pan installed. Let me show you what we're doing for clearance. So we took some measurements and the engine doesn't entirely fit and I'd be lying to you guys if I didn't say we didn't already try to test fit it. It didn't clear the steering rack. So the rack is unbolted right now, it's shifted forward. And these bezels here that have threads inside of them bolt up into the subframe like this and they're set above and that's what the rack rests on. So we broke the welds, they fell through and what we're gonna do is just lower these a little bit. That way the rack can sit flush and that'll give us the perfect clearance that we need in order to put the motor back in. And I know that's a little technical. Let me know if you guys care about this. If not, I'll show you the motor in the hole and then I'll show you the first start. <laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Oh, that was my first time using a plasma cutter. That's sick. Oh my God. Thank you, Harbor Freight. <laughs> bum, pump. Bum, 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 bum. Pump, pump it up. We could always take the front bumper off, but that would be too easy. Whee. Look at the clearance on that this guy. This fits pretty good. I'm actually very impressed here. You, you, it's almost like it was made for it. What are you thinking, Ford? Do you sell mounts? Putting Amelia on it. I think it lines up now. <laughs> Stay there for. <laughs> Stay there for a second. Just Last a couple one. professionals doing their job. <laughs> All right, the motor is in. Oh my god. This looks so good. So we are going to wait until we can put the supercharger 
on the engine before we finalize the motor mounts because we don't know yet if we're gonna have to space it forward or back or keep it exactly where it is. So let's do that right now. Let's take off the old manifold. We're going to assemble the supercharger with the injector top hat and just see how nasty she looks. Oh. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. If you guys remember when we assembled the supercharger, sat back a little bit, but this looks like perfect clearance. Got it? Sure. Hold on, don't roll it. Okay. Oh, I think it's gonna clear the fire. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow. <laughs> wow. Like oh my God, this fits so well. I've always wanted to do a root style blower and I just knew it was gonna be on the Mustang since the day I bought it. So I'm just mesmerized by how beautiful this is. is. Oh, buddy. All right, we're missing the hat adapter, but I have to see what it looks like with the injector hat on. Mm, I think it's about the height of the roof. Yeah, buddy! It is incredible to see a vision, a dream, to a reality. It's freaking rad. <laughs> it's sick. <laughs> it fit way too well. It fit yeah. perfectly. Yeah. I mean, take a look at this, you guys. The water pump's not on the car right now, but with the fans, without having to cut anything, it fits perfectly. Can you see me? Can you see me? <laughs> I literally can't see you. This is crazy. Can you imagine just cruising down the road. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what up, neighbor? And the even crazier thing is <laughs> when we get the hat adapter in, that's gonna be about four inches of height. So this is gonna sit up even taller. So with that said, I would love to announce that I have partnered with Holly for this build. You'll see that we're running their dual 4,500 throttle bodies, their stealth EFI. They fit about eight injectors each. So total for our setup, we're gonna be running 16 injectors. We're also gonna be running their Dominator in order to control that. I'm really glad that we didn't uh, go mechanically injected because with the Dominator and with EFI, we're gonna have better tunability, especially on the low end, um, which means better street ability. So I'm really excited to be partnering with them again on yet another build to make lots and lots of horsepower. Next video, hopefully, 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 we get a first fire. So make sure you guys stay tuned. If you don't already subscribe, which I see about 60% of you don't subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. And all I ask, aside from that, is that you share this video with one of your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. E-Crew, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs>